Doma Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, even though we got, <laughs> even though we got, <laughs> even though we got uh, Lomachenko and Devin Haney about to fight, Lomachenko and Devin Haney, we actually got to say Devin Haney and Lomachenko, right? They're going to fight this weekend. I just wanted to chime in a little bit on Canelo Alvarez, uh, you know, because a lot of times we we uh, we talk about Canelo Alvarez about, you know, hey, man, Canelo Alvarez don't have to fight everybody. You know what I'm saying? And that's the truth. Canelo Alvarez ain't got to fight everybody, right? Just somebody. And so a lot of times, you know, like, for example, we talk about, let's say, Donald Trump, right? And you say, man, he does a lot of crime. There's a lot of crime he's doing. And if you put it all into one thing, then people just don't can't really follow it because there's so many things he does that he can just say, hey, every time everybody's after me, it's a witch hunt, right? You know, because you don't break it down. If you just stop at one, then you kind of can, can focus about what we mean about him being a criminal, you know? But what we're talking about Canelo Alvarez, it's not like, hey, he has to fight everybody, just some damn body. So what I'm just gonna do is just start when Canelo was at 154 pounds. And when he's at 154 pounds, let's just start there, right? Kind of leave it there. You're in a division where you have three champions, all high profile champions, all American champions, right? Jamel Charlo and Jamal Charlo. Those are twins from Texas. Both would have been high profile fights, both were champions. Either one of them fighting in Texas or Mexico are huge mega payday fights, right? Those weren't allowed to happen. Then you're in the same sanctioned body as Demetrius Andre, the WBO champion, right? Wouldn't fight him, even though the man was calling you out, not only calling you out, but calling you out of your name, begging you to fight. He's the champion. You're just a mandatory. Saying, I thought mandatories wanted to be champions. Remember all of that? Wouldn't do it. The man couldn't get a fight, Demetri Andre. So what happens? He gets stripped eventually. They give Liam, Liam Smith the title. Do you know Canelo then fights Leon Smith for the same title he didn't fight Demetrius Andre for? Right? So he's able to leave the 154-pound division, not fighting Demetrius Andre, who was a champion, Jamel Charlo, who was a champion, and Jamal Charlo, who was a champion. All three of those awesome champions, not fighting one of them. Leaves, won't fight either, either one of them, and is considered to be better than all of them. High profile, earning more money, way more money, astronomically more money than those guys. Being considered better, higher in the pound for pound rankings, right? That is not correct. Just 154 pounds itself. You weren't supposed to leave that division with your tail between your legs, not high with your, breast, with your chest stuck out. How can you be the best in a division where there's three champions, all undefeated, begging to fight you? All high profile, big money fights. And all of them are not good enough to fight, right? And the people Canelo fought instead of Jamel and Jamal Charlo and Demetrius Andrade come nowhere close. Demetrius Andrade was considered when he was at 154 pounds, I can remember, oh, Vanis Manta Rosen had him down. Yeah, 30 and 0, Vanis Matter Rosa with 154 pounds wasn't no damn joke. We can say that now, but back at 154 pounds when he was 30 and 0, hey, you can get knocked down by him. You can be in a close fight by him. I mean, how many close fights are Canelo in? Or the Charlos? You can be in a close fight. Ain't nobody above being in a damn close fight. Your name ain't Floyd Mayweather or Terrence Crawford or something like that, right? Anybody else, you're going to be in close fights. Mere mortals. That's not what we're saying. Now, we're gonna leave it at 154 pounds, or I go just up to 160. Jamel Charlo, Jamal Charlo's a champion there. Demetrius Andre's a champion there. Canelo Alvarez could fight Demetrius Andre for undisputed, and don't do that either. Still considered better than both of them. Uh, Jamal Charlo moves up, has three interim fights, becomes the uh, to become Canelo's mandatory. When after three interim fights, WBC comes up with what the franchise title, the Charlo belt, which I call it. So they come up with the Charlo belt so Canelo doesn't have to fight Charlo. And then he just ignores an undisputed fight. And the whole boxing industry ignores an undisputed fight against Demetrius Andre in the middleweight division. But Canelo is better than all of these guys, makes way more money than all those guys. That is what I'm talking about. That's criminal. 
So no, Canelo doesn't have to fight everybody, but fuck, but damn it, some damn body. You follow me? We'll go up to 168 and 175 in the next videos. I just want to stop there. One division at a time, and then you can follow me. I didn't mention doping. I didn't mention a lot of other stuff. I just mentioned 154 pound division and 160 pound division. Why you could be a little bit skeptical and a little bit aggravated that the guy who won't fight, none of those awesome guys, is considered way better. Can you follow that? I made it pretty simple for you. Doma Sports Talk, worldwide, and I'm about to